Let go. Okay. Let's go get stem cells. How good my forearm looks in the mirror. Fuck, you see it? I've heard this so many times already. <laughs> That's right. man size. Right see that window? Yeah, look at it. <laughs> this fat roll. Is Brian Shaw's forearms a gift for arm wrestling? Guys, as we know, now that Brian is done promoting and organizing the Shaw Classic, he will now follow the path of the arm wrestling training. And Brian really seems to be excited about it because he just posted in two consecutive days content related to arm wrestling on his Instagram. On the first day doing some cupping, and on the second day, working on his forearms. And on the second one, it didn't really specify that he was doing that work on the forearms for arm wrestling. But if he says on the caption that it's time to make these forearms grow, I'm pretty sure we might know why he would like to have them big. And honestly, it's not of today that Brian is known to have big forearms. Like, I remember when I was watching Brian when he went to the zoo with Eddie, and then there, in a couple of frames of the video, we could really see that Brian's forearms look pretty huge. Not only just huge, but on the recent video that he has posted, we could see that they are also very lean. So, when we go to arm wrestling, is a big and lean forearm important? Well, it goes without saying. Like, there's even a video of Devin and Travis, on which Devin has a shirt that says only forearms. And I guess we can say that this is not a satire at all, since Devin isn't really doing anything but forearms in his trainings. So, Yes, the developed forearms are like, very important to be a strong arm wrestler. And this is why we had Oleg Zog being around 80 kilos and beating a bunch of people from the super heavyweight division. But even more important than just the size of the forearm is the technique and the table practice. Those two walk hand to hand. But when we think about Brian and his enormous size, I believe it may be complicated for him to just have sparrings against normal people. Like, it won't be hard for him to just sweep them. So, in my opinion, Brian should be attending arm wrestling open tournaments, or even going to East vs West, because in there is where he will find a bunch of strong people with technique that he will be able to feel on where his level of strength is, and where does he need to focus on.